Halo Infinite Memory Agent, Part 4. Impossible. How did I... Yeah. How many spins has it been? 36? It's been 36 spins. Mm, what was the image? The streams... I've seen those before. But how... Focus, focus. Oh god, how many spins has it been? How many? Damn it. I'm too low. I'm too low! All right. Oliver, update on the enemy squadron. Oliver? Oliver! Oh, and Lieutenant? Good luck. Okay, focus, Oliver. Enemy squadron? They've broken off their pursuit. But it seems they haven't left the sector. Good enough for now. Resume course to the rendezvous. Our ETA has fallen behind due to this evasive action. We cannot afford any more delays. No gratitude for the successful maneuver. We're still in one piece here. Indeed. Very... crafty. Apologies, Lieutenant. I came back online a bit groggy. Well, now you know how I feel every morning. You've been quiet, Lieutenant. Hmm? What? You've spoken no words for approximately 49 minutes and 7 seconds. Lieutenant? Flowing streams. Big moon in the sky. The wind in the trees. The streams. Moon. Wind. Where did this come from? I know it'll be gone in a few hours, but... Oh, it's nice to have a thought that didn't come from Oliver or the UNSC archives. This one feels like it's... mine. Lieutenant? I'm fine, Oliver. Let's get back to the mission. UNSC archives are ready. Let's access another Master Chief recollection. Is there someone who served with him and survived? Affirmative. This is an interview with Private First Class Chips Dubbo. Oh, hey, hey, do I have something in my teeth? Yeah, a little. There, you got it. Okay, state your name, please. Uh, just introduce me as the Flood Hunter. Everyone will know you mean Chips Dubbo. Hey, you might want to interview the Master Chief if you're doing a story about me. He's my best mate. Hey, he loves me. He wouldn't miss this for quids. Oh, I can put you in touch. Uh, this is about the Master Chief, not you. Wait, 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 Oliver, this guy has survived? Evidently so. What makes the Chief a good soldier? You know, I got two answers for that. First, MC is like a golden retriever in the body of a T-Rex who is smarter than the love child between Einstein and an AI. Hang on, say that again? He's a golden retriever. Oh, a golden retriever? Yeah, well, cause he's loyal, mate. And, and you would think a metal guy like him wouldn't understand what loyalty means. Look, <laughs> I'm not a bloody idiot. I know what Oni did. I know MC doesn't have a proper family outside of his loyal blues. So he fights for us. His brothers and sisters in arms, and for those back home. He would fight and die for all of us. Where is family? And that's the first reason he's a good soldier. And the second? Well, <laughs> it's because he has the Flood Hunter right by his side, kicking ass in outer space. Woohoo! No real family. Was the Master Chief grown in a test tube or something? Oliver, pull up the earliest recollections of the Chief. Accessing. Records are cross-referenced to Dr. Catherine Halsey. It looks like all these files are restricted. Can you override? Negative. Let me do a more refined search. There's another file labeled Eridanus 2. This is also restricted. What's 
Eridanus too. It's the second planet in the Eridanus system. One moon, temperate climate. Streams, moon, wind. Hmm. What is the relevance to the Master Chief? Why Eridanus too? Oliver. Apologies, Lieutenant. I was scanning for the earliest accessible files. Here is one from Senior Chief Petty Officer Franklin Mendez. He was the Master Chief's drill sergeant. Look, I'd be a heartless bastard if I didn't have some reservations about what Halsey and Oni were doing. It wasn't until I saw 117 when I finally understood her reasons. When it comes to war and the future of humanity... Oliver, stop the recording. Who is Dr. Halsey and what was she doing? What does he mean by having reservations? Reservations. Noun. Originated from the Latin word reserve. Oliver, please. Dr. Halsey and the Office of Naval Intelligence have taken some unsavory means, but to very good ends, all to ultimately ensure the survival of humanity. I wonder who programmed that into him. Resume playback. 117 was by far the best, but he was also kind of a prick when he first got here. He thought all of this was a game. But I made him learn the hard way that you don't win unless your team wins. He took that lesson to heart. During a wilderness survival course, instead of following protocol, 117 led his team to take down a squad of shitbird soldiers and steal a pelican. <laughs> Jesus. I laid into him for a long time. And when I was done, all he said was, not following protocol worked. When it comes to life or death, that's all that matters. And at that moment, I knew I had a choice. Either make him clean the latrines for defying orders, or make him team leader. And because he could handle it, I chose both. I'm not one for sentimentality, but seeing 117 become who he is now, it changed me, too. Seeing those kids go from where they were to where they are, it shows just how much humanity is capable of when our backs are up against the wall. And if this war sees me forced to fight by 117's side, by John's side, well, it would be an honor. John, what happened to Mendez? Officer Mendez continued to be instrumental in the training of Spartan recruits through the end of the war. Wait, so how long did he continue to serve? Officially, Franklin Mendez retired from UNSC service in 2553. Well, how about unofficially? That information is classified. Classified for me? Why? I'm just going to forget it anyway! The answer to that is also classified. How long have I been an operative? Current posting began in 2557. So, two years? Affirmative. And this is only my fifth mission? If I cycle through my memory every seven or eight hours over two years, how do I know I haven't been on hundreds of missions? Care has been taken not to overwhelm your mental composure. You needn't be burdened with all the details in each memory cycle. Care, huh? You said Oni takes unsavory means. Answer me, how many missions have I been on? I'm able to confirm you have not been on hundreds of missions. Oliver! My mental composure is now burdened by your refusal. Causing me distress would go against your programming, would it not? You have completed 52 missions. 52. You've been lying to me. They've been lying to me. How I've been lying to me? What do you have to say now? I believe your distress has... increased. Screw this! Lieutenant, what are you doing? Aborting mission. I'm done. <laughs>